Hey tech heads, welcome to Mobile Quickie, I'm Dennis. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about adding Facebook login to your iOS Swift app. We're gonna cloud enable the app using AWS Amplify CLI and Amazon Cognito. Let's get started. Hey everyone, just wanted a good, quick intro to the Facebook login changes. Just recently there was some um, AWS Amplify framework improvements for the iOS SDK through Amplify. Some of those things were state tracking, so now we're able to track the state of the login, log out. We can do a listener, so we can listen for anything that's uh, logged in, logged out, or a, a refresh token has expired for both user pools and federated identities, and offline capabilities. So if it's offline, there isn't a hang up when it tries to refresh that token, and then when it comes back online, everything's done for you, and some great token management. So I just wanna throw that out there, let you guys know. This has been updated recently in the last couple weeks, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so here in this section, we're just gonna add a developer application. So we're gonna go to developers.facebook.com, add a new app, and give it a display name. This is what's gonna display to the user when they're gonna authenticate through your app. And then put your contact email address in here, and then select create app ID. Go through their caption information if that comes up for you. Apparently they don't trust me. And then it'll refresh and now we're gonna get a option to add a product. Facebook login, do a setup. And now there's like nine steps gonna be here. Ignore all of them. All we're gonna be doing is selecting iOS. And then what you wanna do is skip to the next phase. Number two is add a bundle identifier. This is the same bundle identifier that is associated with your iOS app usually the reverse uh, DNS and then the app name. Hit save and continue. Now what we're gonna do is copy that app ID and we are done with the developer Facebook. Okay, so now we're just gonna create a new iOS project in Xcode. So go ahead and launch Xcode and we'll do a new project and go ahead and create a single view app, hit next and then give it a product name and then next, and I'll expand that here, just call it auth, if whatever you want. And it should match the name that you provided Facebook. And uh, that's about it. So now here, the bundle identifier should match what you provided Facebook there in this bundle identifier. Make sure that matches the app ID in Facebook. Now we're switching over to cloud enable the project that we just created. So CD to your Xcode project within the terminal. And then we already installed Amplify, so we're gonna call Amplify init and then choose your favorite editor, typically Video Studio, and then iOS should be automatically set. And then the profiles, choose whatever profile you have available and say okay. And that's just gonna initialize the project. It's not gonna enable any services yet. We're just getting it ready to cloud enable it. So we'll let that run for a second. Now we're gonna see that we have an Amplify folder. We're gonna say Amplify Add Auth, enter. And this is where we're gonna add Facebook. So use the default or nope, we're gonna say no, I wanna set up my own configuration because we're gonna add Facebook. So choose the first option there, that's default. Then let's get ahead and give it a friendly name for a resource, whatever you wanna give it, auth demo. And then for the identity pool, again, if you wanna name it or choose enter for the default long name, sometimes um, it's okay just to enter through there. And then allow unauthenticated, yes. This allows your users to use the app without authenticating if they want to. Enable third party, yes. Choose Facebook. And this is where we're gonna paste in the app ID that we created in the earlier step for the Facebook. Enter, and unless you wanna provide a custom name. And then I wanna do auth demo user pool. Enter there and say off, everything could default here. This is all answering MFA questions, enables. And just go ahead and enter through that default. And then what that did is enabled uh, user pools, it enables Facebook, and then it's gonna put in some configuration in the, in the uh, default folder. So do an amplify push, and what this will do is take that template that we just created in CloudFormation and go build our resources. So behind the scenes, it's creating a Cognito user pools and a Cognito identity pool with federated identities through Facebook login. And then we'll go to the next step and integrate it into our mobile app. Now we're gonna add Facebook metadata to our iOS app. So launch Xcode, 
and then we're going into the plist file. So open the plist as code. So you just right click on plist and say open as source code and that'll give us the dictionaries and keys. Then we're gonna go back to Facebook developer portal and take a look at your app where we had those nine steps. Go back into there and then we're gonna continue into the next step that provides this information that we're gonna put in our plist. So say next on there, skip through step three and then step four is what we want. We're gonna take these two fields from two and three and we're gonna paste them into our plist file of the Xcode project. So scroll down here and then the first thing I'm gonna do is copy this area from section two and go back to our Xcode. And let's go ahead and just paste that in there like so. Clean up the line, empty lines. And there's the first one. Now let's go back into three and copy that code over. And this is specific for your app in the Facebook portal. So I'm uh, putting it in for my information, but you're gonna have a little bit different information. And then I'll go through it real quick just so you know what's going on. Um, has the information there, so we have the extension. And then the important piece here is the string, the FB and then your app ID. It's FB and then your own app ID in there. And that's it for the plist metadata for Facebook. All right, let's move on to more client stuff. Okay, here we're moving on to the CocoaPods to enable our SDK and install it into our iOS app. So first thing you wanna do in your project is do a pod init if you don't already have pods enabled. So pod init will create this pod file, this blank pod file or a template, and we're gonna add those requirements from the SDK. And the link to the blog is down below. So click on that and then you can follow along and then see the source code for that. So now here I'm gonna take a look at this pod file and now scroll back into the blog I was talking about and we're gonna copy in these pod requirements. I'm gonna to go to the um, gist for that so I can copy just the pods that I want from here. So these four are gonna be uh, entered into my app. I'm gonna paste those into the pod file here. And this is a requirement, mobile client is the one that's doing the token management. Facebook sign-in is doing the Facebook SDK. User pool sign-in does our basic auth if we wanna allow users to authenticate there. And the auth UI is just simply that UI that's gonna pop up the username, password field, and the Facebook. So now we'll do pod install dash dash repo dash update. And this will install all those requirements for the app to install the AWS SDK and the Facebook SDK in our iOS app. So that'll run for a minute or so. And then that's it for integrating the AWS SDK. And now we're ready to move on. Now in this section, we are adding the AWS configuration.json file. This is the one that's created by AWS Amplify when we cloud enabled our app. So launch Xcode, and then we're gonna get select the main project and do add files, and then select that configuration.json file and make sure we uncheck copy items so we can update it um, manually or automatic when we make changes. So select that and you'll see all these, the pool ID, client ID, and a lot of those endpoints that were created for us by AWS Amplify when we cloud enabled it. Okay, let's move on. Okay, now we're gonna add the AWS mobile client to our iOS app. This is responsible for all the token management in your application. It's an important piece. So we're gonna follow along on the code in the blog. So once we click here in the blog, you'll see the area where there'll be code. See, there's an image there. We're gonna add three pieces of information there, they're numbered. And then I provided a gist so you can just copy and paste that information into your uh, application. So I wanna copy and paste the entire view controller and then just overwrite, because we just had a blank view controller in the first place. Paste it into here, and then we're gonna have an error real quick because we don't have the show sign in UI yet, which is the next step. And that's it, so move on and we're gonna add the UI. Okay, so same thing now, we're in the view controller, but we we'll go back to the code and we're gonna just add the simple uh, UI, which is the show sign in UI application and copy that with a gist. And then we're gonna paste it in at the bottom of the view controller here, copy it here, and then move back into our view controller and then paste it at the bottom and those errors should go away. We're gonna build it and ready to go. So one last step that we need to do after this is we need to go and add a navigation controller to our view controller. So you select the main storyboard and select the view controller and then go up to editor and then embed in navigation controller. And that adds a navigation controller for the auth UI piece. 
And that's it, let's go run a demo and see how this works. Okay, for the demo, so launch Xcode, if you don't already have it running, hit play and launch the application in the simulator. And so what you'll see is the auth UI piece here, and it'll show the username and password, which is for uh, the user pools, so allowing the user to do a basic auth with username and password, and then the continue with Facebook button, which we just added. So go ahead and click on that Facebook button, and it'll launch the Facebook SDK, and you can log in with your own account or friends or whatever it might be, put in their information and then log in. And then you should see an information pop up that is the display information that you provided in your app to say, you know, auth, this is the app name. And then they want to be able to collect a little bit of information. And once we are authenticated, run through that, well, this is a little bit slow. It says, I wanna review or provide your profile information, connect, continue as mob and then it'll close out and then we have the white screen. So we're completely authenticated through um, Facebook and now we have those credentials and it's connected directly into um, the AWS mobile client to manage those tokens. And then if those refresh tokens expire with Facebook, then the uh, AWS mobile client takes care of it. So we're completely authenticated and now all our calls to AWS will be um, authenticated and secure for your, uh, for your users. So I hope you enjoyed, and if you like what I'm doing, please don't forget the like button and subscribe if you wanna see more of what I'm doing. Thanks.